Jim Anderson, repair, restore, and revitalize your relationship. Repair, restore, and revitalize your relationship. Jim Anderson. today and we would find a row of books that tells us how to get a date. <laughs> but where things get interesting is after you get the date and hopefully after you form the relationship, there's precious few books that tell you how to let that relationship go. So what happens is we end up with a relationship that's okay. But what we really want is a relationship that's great. We want our partner to look at us the way that they looked at us at the beginning of our relationship, when everything was new, when we couldn't get enough of each other. We want our partner to become interested in us once again. So I've got some good news for you. This is possible. I've got some better news for you. I'm going to tell you how to do it. But before we do that, I'd like to start by telling you a story about my personal hero, Al Gore. You know who Al Gore is, right? He's the former Vice President of the United States of America and current client change champion. Mr. Gore put out an announcement a few months ago. Mr. Gore announced that he's getting divorced. Al Gore is getting divorced after 40 years of marriage. 40 years! If the Gores can't keep it together, what hope is there for us? <laughs> so listen, if you want the relationship that you're in to be a success, you have to take action. You have to do something. The thing that you have to do begins with an S. No, it's not that. <laughs> it's seduction. <laughs> what does seduction actually mean? Oh, wait. You look it up. Seduction is defined as being to attract or to charm. Hmm, what's going on in your relationship right now? Your partner has fallen asleep. Life has become routine. Dare I say it? You have become boring. Well, so what to do about this? Well, I tell you, you have three choices here. The first thing that you can do is have an affair. <laughs> the second thing you can do is you can leave. Go find somebody who's not asleep. And the third thing, perhaps the saddest thing of all, is you can suffer in silence. I say no! I say you have a fourth option available to you. Get your partner to wake up! You. See that? Now myself, I was involved in a relationship for 25 years with my wife. <laughs> One day I woke up and I realized I had a great friend, but I didn't have a lover anymore. Clearly I had to do something about it. I had to seduce my wife once again. <laughs> well, how do you seduce somebody? Well, you've got five senses. Remember what those are? You've got sight, you've got hearing, you've got smell, you've got taste. Oh, there's one more. What is it? I feel. Touch! You've got touch! Fantastic. Okay, great. Let's talk about what we have to work with here. So the first one you have is sight. Look, we all dress sort of the same way, right? Your partner has become bored with the way that you dress. What I did was I went out and bought five men's shirts. Green, yellow, red, <laughs> purple, and orange. Added those shirts to my fairly monochromatic wardrobe, and then every other day I was showing up wearing a bright color. Did my wife notice? Oh, yeah. <laughs> did my wife have a, clue, have a clue as to what was going on? All right, our second sense is the sense of hearing. You know, the most central thing that your partner can hear is your voice. My wife and I like to watch TV shows together. What I started doing was pressing the pause button. And we'd have like a little discussion. I'd talk about something on TV or something on our day. The conversation started out small, but then they got a little bit larger, a little bit larger. I mean, eventually after about 45 minutes, we weren't finishing watching the TV programs anymore. <laughs> the next sense we have is our sense of smell. So, smells a subtle sense, okay? You don't really notice it that much, but it's very, very powerful. My wife likes the Britney Spears scents. So I went out and took a look. Britney's got 17 different scents. Oh my God. So I took a look at all of them. One of them had some sort of masculine undertone, so I started wearing it. 
<laughs> Did she notice? Yes. Did she know what she noticed? No, she didn't have a clue. Okay, after that, of course, comes the sense of taste. Taste is all about eating. We love food. But also, it's about preparing food together. So in my house, Wednesday night became home cooking night. Okay, one of us would make an entree, and one of us would make a vegetable, and we'd switch off every week. Uh, have all of our meals been a success? No! <laughs> has our time together preparing been a success? Yes, it has. That leaves us one sense left, the sense of touch. And touch, of course, is all about kissing, right? And I'm not talking pecks on the cheek. I'm talking about kissing like you kissed back when the relationship was new. Now, there's also neck massages, back massages, and of course, feet massages, right? <laughs> It turns out that my wife doesn't really like a back massage. What she likes is a back scratch. <laughs> so I make sure that every other night she gets a good, good back scratch. Listen, the relationship that you're involved in right now is probably the most important thing in your life, okay? If it didn't work out, that would be a sad tragedy, okay? If the relationship that you're in right now doesn't work out, it's a waste of your time and you'll be back to square zero. You'll have to start that courting thing all over again and nobody wants to do that. What does a good relationship look like? You already know the answer to that. It looks like your relationship looks in the beginning. Remember, that was when you were always thinking about your partner. That's when you got your partner's gifts. And that's when, when you weren't with your partner, you were thinking about the next time you were going to be with them. It was all good. You can make your relationship be like that again. It's an effort. You have to use your seduction skills. But if you do that, they will come running back into your arms. And so unlike the boars, <laughs> you can have the relationship that you had back in the beginning. So perhaps now is the time for you to add a touch of seduction to your relationship. Now the time.